Today, I play Subnautica Hardcore, which means I attempt to stay alive with just the one life, trying my best to flee from a Reaper Leviathan that thought I was fish food, to taking one too many crash fish to the face, and gathering all the required materials necessary to build a way off planet 4546B. We definitely experienced a lot more with this being the updated version Subnautica 2.0. Will we live long enough to make it off the planet? Well, let's find out. So without further ado, I spend 100 days in Subnautica Hardcore, and here's what happened. With another start to this beautiful game called Subnautica, we would crash land on this alienated planet, forced to use the escape pod where things went wrong real fast. And we're back at Subnautica 2.0. <laughs> So picking up the fire extinguisher and putting out the flames, Altera greeted us in our PDA, booting up and trying to get the darn thing to work. No time like the present. Oh gosh, it's some Nautica again. <laughs> I'm so ready. I am so, so ready. I just gotta be really careful this time. What we really needed was some food to fill our hunger. I've got another fish. <laughs> It definitely wouldn't go unnoticed, but I had a few scares or close calls early on. Needing to fill up our O2 tanks was a frequent thing and doing my best not to forget that I only had the one life. I picked up some salvage along my travels and found some seed clusters that would come in handy. Nothing like needing to breathe a little bit. Being the professional that I was, however, we would soon need the essentials, our tools. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Make that first. Immediately make that first. Woo. Oh. Wait, what? We got, ooh, fins, yes, please. Okay, we got some fins too now. So it's always the knife and then to get repair cave sulfur. Do we got cave sulfur? Hey, we do, we do, we do, we do. I'ma kill it, I'ma kill it. This time I'm not scared. I'm gonna, oh God. Okay, I'm kind of scared, I'm kind of scared, I'm kind of scared. That did half my HP, what? It wasn't long before we had a repair tool on hand looking to fix up our escape pod and progress the story further. Look, it's off. I don't know why I did that last time, but it's off now and we're repairing it. Ta-da! Oh, this one too. 4546B. Sucking up all the smoke stuff. As we were just about to leave, it dawned on me that I never really tried the air bladder. Was it any good or would it save our life? So out looking for a cute little bladder fish, we combined the parts together, curious to see how it worked. Though as the night ended, it was all about the habitat builder. New base, here I come. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Silver, battery's easy to get. Silver's not too bad. Computer chip, oh man. Something else that I really loved and used constantly was the pinning function. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh, fire please don't die. Ooh, wait, it's daytime already? Now with all the pieces to this wonderful tool at the ready, we could start building a little something to get us started. You ready guys? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? We're about to get, I wanna see, I wanna see what we get. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go. Bing, bada boom. All right, what do we have right off the bat? So Subnautica 2.0. Adding a hatch for quick access and a solar panel of power, there was no limit to how fast or how far I could take this. But now I was on the hunt for more parts to scan, specifically the sea glide and if we got lucky, the sea moth. Really nice. Is this another? Yeah, it's another. Uh, oh, we only needed two. All right. Going through a few more areas as we searched for the remaining sea glide parts, we found ourselves overwhelmed and excited to test this thing out. With the sun dipping down as the night sky slowly covered us, I was debating on building something above water, but realized how much work that would actually be. The only thing left to do now was find ourselves a better O2 tank and finish building the sea glide. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yes, yes! Hey! <laughs> so with the sea glide, now we can search for the silver and more. Do something. What is this? Ooh, mobile vehicle bay! Can we just not? Can we just? Can we just not? Can we? I'll scan you then. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, I love this thing so much. Thankfully, the fragments for this build weren't too hard to find and finished up with the last piece inside of wreckage not too far from our escape pod. Uh, ooh. Mobile vehicle bay? Yes, please. Oh, that's the last piece too. Sweet. The grab sphere, I think we already had that. If there was something I really enjoyed though, it definitely had to be the air bladder. That thing was awesome. Woo! I love this thing so much, man. Oh my God, that thing is beautiful. Finally making our way back to the escape pod, 
there it was, our new and improved oxygen tank. Next on the to-do list, let's call it, was a rebreather. Silver was big on the list, and if I wasn't careful enough, many crash fish would become sentient and kill us straight up. <gasps> oh! That's a lot of cave sulfur stuff happening, holy crap. Oh god, how do I get out of here? Oh my god. Uh, crud. Okay, we gotta be very careful. Stealth, like, almost. Just getting out, just getting out, just getting out. I, I did not like that area. Okay. All we needed now was some creep vine and fiber mesh. This definitely wasn't my base, but it gave us a place to store items away and catch our breath if need be. Filling up on some foods to prevent the side effect called death, it was time we pursued one of the islands. Specifically, one with builds we could scan and use to start a real base. Once on the island, the only thing I really wanted was the multi-purpose room and some seeds to take back home for planting. So that's not exactly what I did. Scanning a spotlight, this observatory with a nice indoor grow bed, and then taking haste towards the center of the island. Why do you get so friggin' loud? Oh my God. <gasps> that's, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, we gotta go inside. Ooh, ultra guide fins. Glide. Yeah, those, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, this is what I wanted. I want these, I want these, I want these. Give me these, give me these, give me these. Me these. Uh. Wait, no, not these. Marble melons! Yes, yes, yes. Exterior grow beds? I will take it. Oh, yeah! Purple! Purple tablet? Cool. Oh, wait, crap, I should have scanned that first. I did that again. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. We got the desk. That's fine. We'll get another one, I'm sure. Get that. Multi-purpose room. I gotta speak louder because she's so loud. I don't know why. But hey. We get... That one! Multi-purpose room! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All was good once we had most things scanned. Traveling back towards the escape pod and taking a quick peek at the recipes we found. <laughs> oh my god. They gave it to us. That's so kind. I love it. I love it. And they gave us this too. Multi-purpose glass room. We got that large room with the large room glass dome over top of it. This is going to be more so a temporary space until I can figure out something. Ooh, you know what we need to do though? All right, let's just put it set up in the middle. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, Marble Melon. While well, starting off the next day right from a fabricator to a radio inside our temp place, the last thing I wanted was the vehicle mobile bay. Sure, we didn't have any builds for it yet, but it was still a joyous moment for me. Moments later, the reactor to the crashed Aurora started speaking to us. What's happening? What's happening? Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred. Drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state. 18 minus 10, 9, 8, Are we seven, safe? 6, oh. 5, 4, 3, 2, Oh, I made it just in time. Oh, I thought I wouldn't make that. Oh, boy. Ooh. Is that like wind, that shockwave come over here? Thank you. Thank you for the radiation suit. Cool. What had me a little worried now was the radiation leaking out from the ship. So now it was time to play things more cautiously. So as we surveyed the grounds, there was another crash site nearby and one that I couldn't resist. Ooh, what's this? Yay, bioreactor. Let's go. New power coming at you live. Oh, Seamoth, Seamoth. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. And... Yeah, I will say, you know what's crazy? Like, this air bladder thing is faster than the actual sea glide going up. Like, to get water, watch this. Woo! <laughs> hey, look how fast it goes, man. So good. Scanning up a few fragments to the sea moth and finding ourselves a juicy scanner room part. Oh, this might be bioreactor two. Oh, holy crap. No, scanner room. Jeez, I did not think the. Find that there. It was only a matter of minutes until we found the last piece to what would become our Sima. Woo! Hey! Finally, I got you. You're in my pocket. Can you guess what I started working on? No? I'll give you a hint then. It starts with this and that. Yup, the Seamoth, here I go. That means we can go to both islands, explore a bit more, get ready. It's happening. Safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. I've been swimming for so many days already. Leave me alone, please. 
Something else I was a fan of, having food at the ready whenever my stomach was empty. And now with our first sub vehicle, it was time we paid a visit to the next island. One that housed a lot of good materials and precursor tech. Oh, I'm killing crave callers. Cra crave? Cave, cave caller. Crawlers. Dang. God, I can't say it. Cave crawlers. Cave crawlers. Cave crawlers. All right, lithium. Let oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got another one. <gasps> lithium, lithium, lithium. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Karen is just trying to scare me. He's trying to freak me out. I didn't scan the last purple tablet, and I, you know, I feel like it's a good, good idea to do that. Fragments purple oh you can't scan them oh you can only scan the the fragments okay with a lot of valuables collected it was back home for me <gasps> wait a minute wait a minute i can kill these guys hold on i'm gonna do it and bop. that was so cruel oh i'm so sorry gasopod oh you want some belly scratches i'll give you some belly scratches as ready as I was, this would be the first official build from Subnautica Below Zero, now in Subnautica 2.0. The large room. This thing, one of my favorite builds. I just wish they would add the jukebox, you know? Like, we want music. Give us some music. We still did need a way in and some power to get the place going. So with a few quartz picked up and a hatch placed, we were one step closer. Oh, crud. Yeah, we're going to need the radiation right off the bat. Dang, okay. Suit, gloves. We're more than ready. In the meantime, I could then work on finding different signals from the life pods around. Trended near a cave system and under attack. We, I mean, yeah, I guess we start going to these places. But, but, Seamoth is going to be that color. Yeah, well, that's close. No, no, no. We're going to do Seamoth red. All right, so let's go to the stranded near a cave system and under attack place. Oh, there was even another piece of the Seamoth here. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Oh! Huge crash right there. Oh, we gotta go there, right? Anything else? Data. Anything else? Any nothing else. With a nice scanner room finished up here to a command chair and the best find yet, the laser cutter, things couldn't have been better right this second. Although that could change because I could easily die at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Something I did want to do was find a way into the Aurora and repair the engine room to stop any more radiation from leaking out into the waters. So now I was on a mission. The Aurora was something magnificent. This massive ship built by Altera that crash landed on planet 4546B from huge corridors to the Seamoth and Pronsuit Bay that stood inside. Now traveling the outskirts of the Aurora, I did my best avoiding the Reaper Leviathan at all costs. Parking the Seamoth as we took our first step aboard, immediately attacked by these creepy crawlers. We're about to slay some gosh darn you guys. Now I can't get in there just yet. I should have made the propulsion cannon. That's okay. Putting out some fires to the place while picking up some important PDAs. This next part, I really, I just felt embarrassed with how hard I tried getting through. All right, nope, nope. I literally can't get through for some reason. Now that we needed the propulsion cannon, I wasn't able to search the ship just yet. Though on a much better note, we did get the laser cutter fabricated. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have battery chargers too now. What I also hoped for, getting power situated inside the large room with a bioreactor. Power don't early. worry Oxygen about it we've life. got where's it power please power 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 a reliable power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to i got it don't worry about it you look at that boom we got it boom 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 and then this one is gonna be boom 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 yeah, baby. Look at that. Everything else was pretty straightforward. From building a wall where I could move my fabricator and radio inside to our new place. I never noticed that before. If you go up to this battery or the bio scanner or bio reactor, sorry, this thing opens up. So it's like a little inventory you actually place this stuff in. I never noticed that before. Huh. Something else that would satisfy my needs in the base were some battery chargers. Having a few outside resources like silver and gold, finding the recipe in our habitat builder, and then building two of them just in case. Ah, ah two of them. All right. Now we just gotta empty out everything. The only other thing that seemed like a good idea were some lockers, but not the small ones. I'm talking about those big ones that needed quartz for the builds. These things were massive and allowed for so much more storage. All right, so we can actually do the bigger lockers, which I think I'm actually going to do. And these lockers, we just throw stuff in. 
Look at this. It's so bugged. What is this happening? I cannot walk. Seriously. Oh, there we go. What was that? What? There's like a invisible zone. By the end of the night, we were in search for more resources, looking to build the propulsion cannon for a way inside the Aurora. Coming to, I gave my Seamoth a few repairs and then started storing away all the collected materials we didn't need at the time. Making sure we had everything from batteries to the wiring kit, I knew I was ready. All I had to do now was test out this bad boy. There it is. Finally, propulsion cannon. We can go back to Aurora. <gasps> ah! Wait, yo, did I just pick that up? Oh, I can pick up a gas pod. Holy crap. I did not know that. Oh, you just got to. Okay, hold on. I'm doing it wrong. Release. Release. Oh, I don't want the rock. No, no, no. I don't know why I was so surprised, but the cannon did use a lot of power for each pull and push. For now, what I really wanted was to expand on my base, giving it more room just in case visitors came by, you know, guests. On top of that, we still had more life pods in search and to progress the story further, life pod 13 would take us out into the mushroom forest that seemed to be carrying the high priority passenger. This place was something. And if you ever made it to a mushroom forest, you would know right away that you're close to either dunes or just reaper leviathans in general. So always be careful going to this location. I also figured that we could look for some fragments for the Cyclops and got lucky with a, a bridge. Yes, sir. All right. Ooh, moon pool. Let's go. Hello there. Don't mind if I do. Do we need the hull? And then there's another. Is this a hull piece? That might actually be a hull piece. Nope. Take it a step further, we came across another wreck that landed on top of one of the mushrooms. And seeing that my laser cutter was more than ready, so was I. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Ooh, modification station. All right, what else? What else? What else? This place was probably one of the biggest finds I'd have in a while too. Now, don't ask me why, but I was really adamant on scanning a tiger plant. I don't know why. Please don't ask. Tiger plant, please don't hurt me. I'm just trying to scan you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, uh, uh. With another life pod at the ready, you know me. No way I wasn't going to be distracted again with more stuff to scan and loot. Crap! <laughs> Go figure! Beacon. Having a nice little beacon made, ready to place it near some purple cave systems, I wanted to finish up the multi-purpose room we'd started building and then a few foundations for some extra hull integrity. Still outside here, I started playing with my food again as we received another life pod location. Headed towards the coordinates, we dropped off that same beacon to come back later on. These coordinates had me traveling through Craigfields and still asked for us to go deeper. So while scanning up some more fragments to things we would eventually build, I found my first time capsule. It did almost Almost cost me my life here, but that's another story. Oh, we gotta get back. Hold on, hold on. I will check that in a second. I completely forgot. <laughs> that was close, huh? Okay. <laughs> Want to see another close call here? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh, okay, I kind of panicked. I didn't want to uh, play it. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, I panicked so hard there. With all that said and done, we still didn't get a chance to locate the life pod. So quickly diving deep for the broadcast, we safely raced back to our Seamoth and made our departure home, setting up one more beacon for our base just before the night ended. Wait, how is this off again? Okay, you have to believe me, like see this for yourself, guys. I, I'm not even kidding. Like I did nothing. I didn't put any commands in, nothing like that. This thing is off again. Yes, sir. Finally, time to push through the Aurora. This time, things would go so smoothly as we had that thing that could move all the blockades around. I'm back, baby. Oh, you know what? Yo, we can take this now. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. What made this even better was us not having to revisit the top floors because with the new entrance, it gave us a straight path to the Pronsu Bay. And oh my God, we're at the Pronsu Bay. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah, you don't want me going up there. Almost done. Door open, sesame, cool. <laughs> Having all the pieces to the prawn suit now scanned, we finally made our way to the end room in hopes of repairing all of the leaks without any trouble. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, it was like a, oh, 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 off, 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 off. Okay, hold on. Oh, hello. 
scared me for a second. Last thing I wanted to finish up was back near the captain's quarters, gathering any food and water scans we may have missed while looking around. Unfortunately, the captain's room would have to wait as we didn't have the code yet. Okay, it seems like the codes to these places are going to be the same, and we unfortunately just don't have the captain's place. So here's the deal. We finished this bad boy. I'm actually going to take this now, and soon enough we can name this. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh. With the new morning here, we finally had it. The sunbeam arrival. Oh, and a new message. So while that's going, we built. Aurora, we're approaching the planet. Oh, the sunbeam. Oh. oh. Well, it's better than the alternative. <gasps> We've sent you the coordinates. Oh my God. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Should be able to establish direct Holy crap, it's been so long. Time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Yo, it's actually Let's been so long since I've seen the sunbeam. Holy crap, this is going to be awesome. Now, my dumb self wanted to wait for this thing because of how I missed it last time. So here you go. Here is the spot. The spot that will say it all. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Wait, 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 I'm coming. Let me here. So close, come on now, so close, please. Let's just go, let's just go, please. Come on, let's do this. Oh. Oh crap, oh, the gun still turns on. Oh, we never shut it off, that's right. Oh gosh, okay, well, is that the sun beam coming into the atmosphere? Don't worry, I don't see anything right now either. We're just waiting. Uh-oh. I think that was the warning s signal. Emergency? Or telling us to stop? Or don't do Survivor, it! Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. Building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? No, no, no! Don't land! Don't land! Oh my God! Oh my God! No turning back now. I would turn back. Everyone, touching down in ten, nine, eight. <laughs> it's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrust. Oh my control. god. Oh. <laughs> Look at it. I hope someone survived, question mark. But that now finished as we mourned for the loss of our brothers and sisters. A quick fix for that was lithium. Just loads, loads and loads of lithium. Especially when we got back to base, our entire inventory was filled up. With water farmed up from bladderfish and our aquarium stocked up on peepers, the next thing that needed finishing up was the base. So if I wanted to continue, I needed some extra hull integrity going around. Look at that. Oh my God, we're about to have 40 of this integrity stuff or hall strength look at that 43 <laughs> that's so good after that it was all about building out more parts to the base and then gathering salvage to then be broken down into titanium for more builds this actually looks kind of cool i feel like i'm going into the matrix almost <laughs> obviously we needed more lithium for the base and what other place to visit than the precursor island once more so i think we got enough lithium i needed i think it was we needed Oh, wait, is it two? I think it's two per thing. Planning to leave the island again. I I just had to do it. I'm going down, guys. I don't. I don't. don't. Oh. Oh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of my team. Bye bye. So headed back in our Seamoth, there was no way we wouldn't have enough to go around the base. And now with finishing up some more of Narnia, I could take the plasteel ingots and build out the large rooms. Now we have it. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And there are only four. That's not bad. I thought it'd actually be a lot more. Okay, cool. After that, we set up a nice vehicle upgrade console for more upgrades later on. What I do want now is this. Yes, yes, yes. Lithium and titanium. I need storage. Taking the tablets as we did, all that was left on the precursor island was searching through the structure. Opening up the main entrance, we found ourselves some ion cubes in hopes we would get the upgraded batteries and power cells. Took this wonderful elevator down to the next part and attempted to turn off the laser, failing to do so with us still being infected. I was curious to see how far the infection had spread though. Ooh, God, the, every time, man. Oh. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. We're gonna do it now, let's see what we got. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing 
detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Uh oh, that's that's really not good. So another trip back to Narnia. The next thing I needed to do was name the Sima. So looking through a bunch of comments, I actually found the perfect one. The Lost Knight. And if you know, you know. Just trying to uh, maybe we could do like a like a bumblebee type situation. All right, there you go. The Lost Knight. This is who you are. What you actually? No, 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 no. I spelled it. Hold on, hold on. It's night, not night. Wait, you'll you'll see. You'll, <laughs> you'll you'll see what I mean. It's Renaissance, medieval times, night. Something else I realized so late in Subnautica with how much I played the game, you could apparently build inside as long as you place the build outside first. I also saw a few comments about this too, and it honestly just blew my mind. <laughs> What we attempted next here was looking for another life pod and found myself in a bit of a pickle. This next area was called the Bulb Zone, filled with dangerous sea creatures like amp eels and bone sharks, but also filled with a lot of good finds. Now with it being that time again, the prawn suit was much needed. From the stalker's teeth to the plasteel ingots and remaining parts, this was always my favorite part. We got this, okay, we got this. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. Oh, it's gone. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait for me, please. Wait. Looking into different upgrades we could have for the prawn suit, I knew I would need magnetite. But on top of that, I really wanted the water filtration system. If I was to get both, we would need to revisit the purple caves or rather known as the jelly shroom cave, a place filled with lots of crab snakes lurking about and many big deposits to find while using your drill arm on the prawn suit. While being back there, we didn't waste any time all right now if we want to find was that nickel ore down here no i think we were looking for magnetite oh it's getting hot it's getting spicy <gasps> so spicy i have to take my time because they're still pretty hard to see like that is kind of small no whoa look at the big magnetite thing holy crap if we had a drill piece oh god like look how much magnetite we've already found finding the degasi base while making sure we didn't run out of oxygen from the trips in and out both the water filtration system and a bed was a nice find inside good thing for us as that's all we needed at the time this was my first time sleeping and just enjoying a good night's rest on a real bed what wonders it was Gotta be honest here and say, most of the time spent was us just building more around the base. Continuing around the base, we also had more hull integrity going, but this time around it was lithium. Now, just imagine this for a second. Titanium plus lithium equals so much awesomeness. <laughs> yeah, I said it, awesomeness. It's definitely because of how much support the base had too. Oh, 200. <laughs> over 200 hull integrity now that is i mean i don't know why i didn't do this before i really have no idea we have 282 hull integrity i do have a few more slots i'll finish eventually but for now we have close to 300 that is oh my gosh that is a beautiful thing <laughs> what i was looking into now was building a scanner room so searching and finding more of a specific thing would be easier all integrity still good <laughs> 280 oh man so scanner room we need computer chip magnetite okay scanner room range and speed all right let's do one two three Oh, the scanner room chip is on me. That, oh, ho, 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 ho. it's looking like tripled in size. Let's see. Oh, they're starting to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my God. Okay, cool. Look at this. Ooh, we get to see all these things now. Within the next few days, the majority was spent searching all over the area for more south. The scanner room helped loads and we would need quite a bit for the next few things to come. It's also that time in the video. And if you made it this far, comment Jaws down below. I hope some of you got that reference. <laughs> <laughs> the next few materials needed was not only titanium but more copper so that's exactly what i searched for it always felt like the amount of scanned items was endless you'd pick one up and more would always pop up last thing i did around the base was trying my best to fix certain compartments that felt out of place just a better way for us to get from point a to point b inside the place Woo, goodbye <laughs> see you later okay that one hurt that one hurt that one hurt oh god Oh, oh my god. Whew, that was a. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Yo, there was two of them. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I gotta go back home. Hold on. I gotta go back home. After that, it was all about adding more power sources to Narnia, bio reactors, and all. With the organic materials being added, things started picking up a lot more. That and adding some life to the base with potted plants felt better. 
Next little task in mind was looking for rubies. Best thing for that was this beautiful prawn suit. And yes, I do name it eventually, just in the coming days. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, if you guys don't like the, the scary deep dark ocean stuff, man. Oh, oh God. That, that almost, oh, okay. <laughs> don't look at this. No, look at this. I will say the nightlife was always popping in Subnautica, even with how I found the blood cow biome on accident. Oh, blood kelp. Ho, ho, ho. I did not know we were close to the blood kelp. What the fudge? Oh, fudge, mother. Don't you flip and dare. Yo. Uh-uh. I might be in a prawn suit, but dude... Someone like right here. My immediate thought was to get out of here and just jump, jump away. While back at home, I planted down a few of those kelp oils for coming builds. Something I wanted to try more of was using heat veins as a power source. Figured if I could convert heat into power, we would never run out. The hardest thing for my brain to cope with was finding a way to connect the power transmitters properly. Ooh. Do we actually have power going? Hold on, hold on. Is it connecting to our base though? And that connected. Oh, it is. Is it, hold on, with it like attached to the foundations, is that like power power? Yeah, it is. It's about 250 power. Okay. I planted down a few seed clusters and decided it was time to look for the Cyclops parts. Only thing was the place I knew of was next to the Aurora and guarded by some not so friendly Reaper Leviathans. I've been building and doing stuff, but you haven't seen much content yet. This is kind of creepy already. Oh my God, if, I, if this was VR, Oh, I'd be so panicking. A lot of scrap here, though. Oh, the tail. Okay, never mind. That's still freaky. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? Okay. If I could do this without engaging the Reaper Leviathan, that would be fantastic. Woohoo! I got it! Hold on, what's this? Another, that's another engine part, I think. Yes, sir. All right, okay, guys. This is gonna be the part that I'm gonna let you know. Spoiler warning, I'm gonna stay here until Leviathan gets closer. <laughs> I don't like this as much as you don't. I'm just gonna leave. There's no point in doing that. That's not even content. That's not fun. You don't wanna see that. Mm -mm. Did a little more salvage hunting, leading me to believe I was crazy. I mean, look at how much I was trying to gather. It was just piling up and up. All right, who thinks I farmed up enough? Probably not a lot of you, but there's probably some of you who's like, how'd you, why, why? Because why not, right? I mean, I got a game. Might as well farm up and do as much as I can. I can cut all the boring stuff out and be like, ha ha, bam. Look at this. Other than more titanium, quartz was the next best thing we would need. With our water filtration systems finally going, we would eventually have some strong sources of water. That, and it was time to build the Cyclops we wanted so long ago. I promise you, this time around, we used the Cyclops so much more than ever before. All right, and three, two, one, start. <laughs> look at it go, look at it go, look at it go. Cyclops. Now we got to be super careful in this thing. No more using silent running because apparently that is like, it just drains everything. I don't know how to make it. Hmm. Hey, there it is. Ta -da. From here on out, we could finally finish up exploring that first island we visited. There she is. It actually looks a lot closer. Holy crap. I mean, we did make some good time. Look at this. Look at this. We got the prawn suit baby over there. We got the lost knight over there. Oh, wow, that was actually kind of really easy. What the heck? I mean, I guess I could have just swam to this part. I gotta make it. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Aye. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, hmm? it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission hmm. from Second Officer Keen two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. 
Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. Another big part of us revisiting the island was those lantern fruits, especially for the Cyclops and our base. Felt like they would be the easiest way of providing a source of power to the bioreactors. Taking our Cyclops back towards home base meant we could finally build the planters I wanted and eventually have those lantern fruits placed inside. All we had to do now was pick up some finished water from the lockers, head outside and search for more quartz, and trying our best not to die again. Oh, mother fudger. You unpause the game just for a second and something just comes out and bites your butt. Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> you suck. I swear, these things would be the death of me one day. Well, I, okay, all right, okay, okay. Any more of those, man, and it's not looking good. Something phenomenal happened today, and that was finding another time capsule, and this one actually felt pretty special. Ooh, look at that. We got another time capsule. I hope it's signed. We could, uh... Thank the person again. Hello? Hello? Time capsule? What do we have now? Let's see. What do we got? Ooh, whoa. What did you just... Yo! Cool! Hold on. I gotta go up and read that. I wanna... Dub H. Baron? Dub Baron? If anyone finds this time capsule, it means I made it off the planet alive. Please enjoy what I left you in this time capsule. I know it's not much, but I hope it helps. I didn't want to give you too much help in order to let you enjoy and experience what's in store for you on this planet. But... I also wanted to give you a few souvenirs from my home base, C Base Alpha. That helped me get through many troubled times at sea here. Best of luck to you, friend. That's actually like a really wholesome, like, <laughs> message. I really like that. Oh, my God. Oh, cool. We got the toys and like the, the posters. That's so cool. Did a bit more sandstone chunk hunting with our inventory filled to the brim and checking up on the lantern trees to see how they were doing. Power was close to running out and we needed to see what was causing the issue. Probably everything from our medical bay to the vehicles charging. I don't know. I forgot these ones need. I completely forget these are here just because I, I for like I've stopped using them technically. The next place I wanted to visit was both the Grand Reef and the Deep Grand Reef. A place filled with multiple wrecks to an abandoned Degasi base from crabs, squids to warpers about and just the vastness that was the deep sea waters. Luckily for us, we had just those vehicles to help us on our way. Parking the prawn suit inside the Cyclops, we were off towards the floating island. Well, I, now I know I'm going though. Sea Traders Bay of the Iraqum, not purple caves. Wait, I need to go to exterior camera so I can see this and then we gotta go down. Mmm, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Lowering ourselves down and lining up the shot. Prawn suit away! Oh, perfect. Wow. All right. Now we just got to make sure we can climb out of this thing after. <laughs> oh, the base is over there. Okay. Now I know where I'm going. You see that? That's what we got to deal with. I got to take that thing out. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Kill it! Did I kill it? Come here. Ow, ow, ow. Make it stop, make it stop. Anybody see where that thing went? Oh, right here. Kill him with fire! Oh, I think I killed it. The rest was simple, from finding more PDAs inside the base to a huge aquarium and our very first cuttlefish spawn. Uh, oh my god! Creature egg! Yo, we just got a creature egg! Oh my god, it's the creature egg! That's the one the, the, you told me you guys about. You guys told me about. Sorry. <laughs> god, okay, sweet. Forgot it was here again. I need to go back through those comments, man. As much as the Lost River was calling my name, we weren't ready for that just yet. While deep below still, we met a few traders walking around the sea trader's path, giving us free minerals with each step they took. The sea trader's path was one for the books, because it was just free loot waiting to be picked up as they marked their territory. Dropped a beacon down for an easier path back and went on our way. Excuse me. Pardon me. Goodbye. I'll see. You. you are so, like, infected. My goodness. Just as we arrived back at base, I found more spots to set up a few more bioreactors. I also had a second moon pool built because why not? Two is better than one, and I could just make as many as I saw fit. Oh, we have enough. Oh, cool. Okay, here we go. Oh! My god, you mother f mm, scared the crap out of me. I didn't think this thing would be so close. Like, that look- Oh my god, yo, some hentai looking thing coming at me. Free <laughs> oh, that was freaking me out. Those- I- All I saw were, like, the, the tentacle things. 
That's it. That's all. That's all I saw. All right, look at that. We got two moon pools and it's looking great. Finished up the reactors and then built some grow beds for more power sources close by. Of all things I wanted next, Jackie boy was just that thing. Do you make noise again? I can't remember. <laughs> like a boss. Added a little greenery to the bedroom and then started looking into more of the modification station. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. That's why we were getting lithium. I was like, why do we need lithium again? I really could not remember. We had a lot pinned and a lot more planned. Oh, 500 for that now. Oh my God, that is so great. Do a little bit of this. Ultra fins. Seam. Oh, we could get MK3 Seamoth. Hold on. <laughs> it is. Oh my God, is it ever? Because it has, like it has what the prawn suit has, but more. Next was giving our base some windows around the place. I didn't want things feeling like a prison. With our new and improved Seamoth, it was time we tested out the new upgrades. All right, we have sonar. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> oh, it's so cool having that, man. That is so helpful. It really, really is. As I was trying to find my way around, somehow I ended up in the dunes biome. There's one right there. I'd love to come here, but I think I'm going to come back when I have a prawn suit for now because... With a little change of course, we made our way into the mushroom forest, setting up another scanner room as we fell short with materials. Oh, there's alien something here. Whoa. Huh? Whoa. We got a portal here. What does that go to? Uh, I just randomly happened upon this. So, okay. Cool. I mean, I needed the oxygen too, so... The biggest reason I was searching for more fragment pieces here, I was really trying to find a nuclear reactor. Unable to find anything of the sort, it was time to move on. A little place called the Underwater Islands, loaded with bone sharks who seemed to be more aggressive than any Reaper Leviathan I'd ever met. This place had it all, and with Rex just sitting there to be searched. If I couldn't find a new power source, then I wanted the next best thing, and that was for my prawn suit, the grappling hook. Data box? Ooh, what's the data box say? Eh? Creature decoy. That's actually kind of nice. I've never used it. Maybe I'll use it this time. Because why not, right? Open sesame. Come on. Come on. All right. Unfortunately for me, I forgot my laser cutter. The only thing I would need to get into the wreck. Taking RC Glide home this time, it wasn't too far now until I had the tool in my inventory. It's even like moving, trying to get out. Oh my gosh. With our sea glide once more, we found all we could from different scans, and by the end of it, this son of a gun just hiding there. Ooh, what's that? Is that a, another drill piece? Hold on. Drill arm. Oh, grass suit, grappling arm. Holy crap! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. I like it. I like it. Uh huh. Looking at new coordinates, I found my way down to the blood kelp biome. This place had some of the most interesting fauna. Things that grew so tall and littered with blood oil. It was also home to the ghost leviathan that we don't like to talk about. Though while grabbing all I could, I did start to get a bit anxious. Look at these electric eel thingamabobbers. They're actually really cool. I love those. One thing I did start to run low on and even around our base was copper. It seemed that it started running dry near us. So next up was the mushroom with the biome scanner. Now I felt ready copper and all. With more of my resources getting scarce, specifically the magnetite, best place to check was back in the jelly shroom caves. So setting up a new scanner room with all the pieces necessary for running, I hit scan and there it went. Holy crap, that's actually a lot. Yes sir, it's working, it's working, it's working. Oh, it's full. Holy smokes. Okay, our inventory is completely full. That, that is a really good thing. Seeing that I didn't want to stop there, I looked into what else I needed and made my way back to the underwater islands. Another scanner room I would end up building here. I'm gonna name this bad boy if I can. Hello? As we traveled to and from the islands to base and vice versa, the scanner room was fully operational. Power me, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sick. Okay. Look at that. Got the floaty islands and all. Neutral waste, our place is coming together. We need glass, more glass, 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 glass. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then hold on, hold on, hold on. We can start doing these little things. Get the little toy there. Ah ha ha. Okay, and next one is this one. Can we 
Actually, I'm gonna put this one over here. Ooh, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Got our coffee, a little thingies there. Yeah, the Aurora! Look at this veteran though, it's coming along nicely. Two, deep dive, prawn suit, MK3. Deep dive, rising above the competition. It's, it's just gonna be so many keep calms. Keep calm, keep calm, keep calm. Are you ready? I can't hear you. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. I found someone, you know who you are. Rich wizard, but in a certain way. Rich wizard, you are, you're becoming, you're be, you're gonna become a wizard actually. You ready for this? All right, I finally figured it out. Um, I hope this is okay. It's like got weird colors going on everywhere. We've got a dark red, a light blue, a green, and then the name is like a pinkish purple and you are a rich wizard. Apparently I had a thing for scanners because it didn't stop at the underwater islands. We also needed one in the deep Grand Reef. Crystalline sulfur and a bunch of nickel ore was next on my list. The last time I found nickel ore, I was, where was I? Not here. I feel like that gas will kill us. So let's not, with our prawn suit, I forget the prawn suit can pick stuff up still. Just stand still for a second. Oh, we got another message. Oh, it's been forever. I was kind of hoping we'd find a message like a while back. All right, any, all the things we need now is just the, the, we need the, the power sources. All right, we've got the stuff down. First thing we did while back at base was listening to the radio. I went pee, so, oh, hello? What the fudge? Me too, man, me too. Afterwards, and for the first time in this playthrough, was testing out our prawn suit once more. God, look at this thing. Like, I was like, maybe I should have parked a little closer to the ground. No, I'm like out of the water. Woo! <laughs> all right, where are you at? Oh, I hear you. You hear me jumping around? Because I hear you jumping around. Oh, God. Imagine playing this in VR and seeing that. Thing of nightmares. Pick me up. Pick me up, brother. Oh, I went too far. Woo! Ha, gotcha. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, you all muscle? You all muscle? No, you're just... Yeah, let's go, let's go. You heard me talking. You heard me talking trash. Oh, oh trash talking the big collude. Come on, kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. Kill my hand. I'm getting... Ow, it's... Oh. Guys. Wait, is that it over there? Hello? I, uh, I don't like this. Ooh, I really don't like this. Where are you at? Oh my god, mother You're supposed to pick me up. There we go. Come on. I hope this is the same one. To be completely honest with you guys, don't know. I'm gonna keep punching. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't be doing that, but I am. Okay, I am. I am. I know. I know. <laughs> hello again it's nice to meet you hello 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 maybe i was drilling their face <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute hello catch me catch me brother catch me you caught me Woo! thank you I got butterflies like the bad kind you know when you go on a roller coaster kind like that type of butterfly hello oh let's freaking go oh yeah 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 you like that you like that oh 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 get it oh get it oh baby oh baby Oh, bye-bye. With my power still unmatched from the previous fight, I needed more nickel ore, and the only place for that was the Lost River. A place so toxic and deadly that even getting out from the prawn suit had me scared. Home to a lot of unknown creatures, one of those being the ghost leviathans again. Speaking of which... Where? 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 You were in the walls again. All right, all right, okay. I gotta kill one of everything. That's my ideal goal, you know? Killing one of everything. One of everything is gonna die today. You, don't you dare phase through that again. No, 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 no. This is a juvenile too. I gotta kill a big one. 
This thing keeps phasing into that. That whatever that corner is, it keeps going there. It's kind of annoying. Having another scanner room built and this one in the Lost River, it would be easy enough to find what I needed. Wait, there was some right there. Oh, no, oh hello. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I don't know why I did that, but don't kill me. Nope, 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 nope. You pansy, you all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Whenever you want to run, you run, and then you don't come back forever. As I was leaving the Lost River, jumping out from the Deep Grand Reef, we found the last wreck not far from us. What is this? Prons oh my god, yes, 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 yes! So glad I came here. Holy crap, so glad I friggin' came in here. Spending a little time headed back to the base, I was afraid of getting stuck again here. Parked the prawn suit back inside the moon pool and decided what to do next. I believe there's only two, right? Cyclops, Cyclops. Yeah, there's only MK2, I, I think. Yay! 1300. Now we can actually go to the Kyanite. Lucky for me, we had most things stored away. What would take a little bit longer was the upgrades we had for the Cyclops. So with the first one, let's shoot. Yep, 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 yep. It was right. Cool. Okay, with that, now we can do the second one. All right, cool. Okay. Ooh, you can charge it, supercharge. Ooh, look at this. It's just frozen in time. And then it gets smaller and smaller. Oh my God. Needing to test out how the drill handled a Leviathan, that was the plan. I'm just curious, you know, how, can you kill a Reaper Leviathan with a knife? Like, is, is, that a, is that a thing? Get as close as we can. Hold on. Did I win? Oh God, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Ooh. Yo, I don't like this. I missed again. You missed me too, punk. You want to fight? You want to fight? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to grapple your face. Woo! <laughs> I'm going for a ride, guys. Where are we going? Where are we going? You like this, guys? Unless it phases through the mountains, then I got to let go. We, we are family. Hey, you got me. I can let go. Am I drilling you? Oh, I'm drilling your face so hard. Let me see where it went. Okay. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. 50 50, I die. Not good. Not good. So not good. Are we dead yet? Okay, so apparently it's very specific in how you aim with the thingy. I'm getting out of here. Woo, wow, that worked up my nerves. Anybody else sweating between their knees? And we're back, we're back, we're back. Drill and thingy, good for exploring, not good for killing. We need double fists in their face. Next was taking the Cyclops all the way into the inactive lava zone. There were multiple entrances to the place and one right by the kelp zone. The only thing we attempted in this kelp zone here was for more parts, but the place was barren with just resources we could find all over most biomes. Normally I do this earlier in my playthroughs, but this time around I left it until later so it wouldn't take over most of the game. And that was actually my whole lockers thing. Normally in certain or in most games, I'll add you guys to the game. I'll do something more interactive. I'll add your names to something. So I did that with the lockers here. And let me tell you, this was some serious farmage, okay? From like all the limestone chunks all over to metal salvage, building the multi-purpose rooms, building the compartments, building the lockers. And then like, I haven't even done all the names yet. I'll probably just say it right here, but if you want to be added onto a locker, just let me know, type in locker me Ray. And that's it. With all that I built, there was so much packed into the Cyclops and I went back and forth. Like, let me show you this. This was insane. Do you see it? Do you see it? Look what I did. It took so long. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. It legit took way too long, man. This was ridiculous. Thankfully we have enough of the, um, what are they called? The hall integrity pieces going. I, I had to get tons of lithium going around. We have one solar panel just because we don't use power in it. We just need power. Guess what is inside these bad boys, huh? What do you think's inside them? Lockers. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Lockers are inside these bad boys. <laughs> right now, there are no names on certain lockers here, but there are names on some lockers. Summer Lover, Meme Boy. I am a 5H. 
Entity Skulls, A. Lambert, Apple VR, Barhana, John West, Chicken NG, which I believe was Nuggets. I think that was Chicken Nuggets. Richard MC. Yeah, some of the names I couldn't fit because for obvious reasons, it doesn't give you many characters to put on the lockers themselves, but I did the best I could. Menu Sutin, Ayush Thap, Christina. Thank you, guy. You're welcome, guy. Mary Magpie, Mark Jess, James Dunn, Grizzy E.T., Charles, Renee Vin, Arian, Kevin Luck, Kristen, Void Realm, Red Claw, Jeremiah was a hound dog or, or a bulldog. What's that song? I can't remember that song. Nitro Fuse, Daryl. And if you want more, just let me know. Just honestly, you know, all you got to do, Locker Me Ray. That's it. Oh my god, lock, sorry. <laughs> I got scared. And for my final trick, I will take all of the mushrooms I can, copper from previous days that we farmed, and build the most batteries that one ever could, slowly turning them into power cells for the Cyclops. All right, do we have enough now? Let's see. And <laughs> I think we have enough. Oh my god, I think we have more than enough. I'm actually going to take these coppers too and put them aside in lockers and i guess titanium as well all i needed to do now was fill the cyclops up with everything we would need and be on our way of course it wouldn't be a ray of pandas playthrough if i didn't forget multiple things it's so cool you could even see it under like as you're above water seeing it and under that is i like that so much once we were finally ready it was through the kelp biome over top the underwater islands through the blood kelp zone and into the cave that was the beginning to an end this is going to help so much. Ooh, a little juvenile one again. As much as I wanted another ghost leviathan kill under my belt, it was taking way too long and I needed to continue my ventures. As I took the cyclops further down below, the sonar really did help more than I thought possible. In the dark, everything looks the same, but with this new mechanic, I could see everything. Just on the outskirts, we found the jackpot and started mining kyanite after kyanite. <laughs> I'm getting kyanite. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Uh, get it, get it, get it, get it. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Prawn suit was getting stacked to the max with resources. Only thing was, I had to return topside a few times, forgetting countless things and just losing my sanity at this point. Two and Cyclops three. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. Did I? Oh, I didn't account for some. Oh, son of a. With us ready to go, we slowly made our way towards the castle. Okay, this is definitely the castle. I'm gonna... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this off. Picked up the tablets we had and made our way inside the place, looking to unlock the secrets ahead. Blue tablet! Oh, I should have scanned it first. Man, I always do that. God. Ah. I got ion keep for this. I don't even know where this goes. Come here to me. Um, through the portal? Medical report recorded to date, Bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh, it's happening! It's happening! Oh, look at it! Oh my god, our hands! Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, it's the noises, man! The noises creep me out so much! Jeez. Once finished, it was time to find the tunnel that connected this portion to a much deeper part of the lava zone. I hit something. I hit something. Oh my god! Just put the empty. Hello? Oh my god. You again? Hello. I am what you seek. Want to help you. Both the things. I hope you're ready. Let's do it. Uh, one, two, go. Gonna drain a lot, but we have shields and everything now. I honestly couldn't believe how easy I had it going down deep below. Figured the sea dragons would shoot fireballs at me like no tomorrow. With all the important items in hand, I could finally gather up the stuff for Akir and get off this planet. After talking with the sea emperor, it was all uphill from here. Five main ingredients for the enzyme needed and we were on our way. Most things we had at home, but everything else we found in the mushroom forest to the bulb zone. Etching enzymes, let's go. <laughs> Finally! Oh, finally, 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 finally. I made my way back to the Emperor and dispersed the enzymes. Touching that was the goop here, and then looking to finally turning off that darn precursor cannon. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, I've been waiting for, this game has been waiting for. 
Let's do this, all right? Let's freaking, let's do this. Go, go, go. Let's try it out. Here we go. Can we redo? Stick me, brother. Here we go. Oh. Ooh, we're shutting it down. <laughs> hey. Dang. All right, this is super spooky again. Okay. I, oh, God. Oh, God. That's, that's the cannon. All we had to do now was visit the captain's quarters one last time. Oh, I got it. 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 Aurora. Okay. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Got another one of you. And this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Altera HQ. Yes. Holy crap. Yes. Plans and all, we started with the Neptune rocket. Next was the Neptune gantry. And then soon after was the Neptune booster. All that was left to do was the cockpit for the spaceship. Only thing was the upgrade we needed was back inside the Cyclops, back inside the lava zone. So a little hop, skip, and hey, look at that. We're already there. <laughs> I don't remember her falling over. That's another thing I really don't remember. Like I 100% I know that Sea Emperor does not fall over like this. It, it like kind of goes stagnant on its like knee or something. It seems like the game is still slowly ever changing. Like they're just kind of fine tuning it now. Finalizing the last piece of the puzzle. This was it. <laughs> okay, that's it. That is it. I believe it's just elevator now and I'm off. I am out of here. I am good to go. Oh gosh, yes, 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 yes. 100 days in Subnautica VR will be happening. Can't say when. What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. This is it. This is freaking it. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, yeah. All I can say now, though, is honestly, guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I really can't thank you guys enough for all the support and love you still show me to this day. I will forever be grateful and I just can't wait for the next one. And now to the rockets. <sighs> thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Auxiliary power unit on. Communications array. Hydraulic systems now is the last one. Here we go. Everyone's been so useful for the time capsule, so I want to do the same for you guys. I really do. Now, we're going to want you to stay alive. This air bladder has saved my life so many times. There you go. And it's going to get really, really dark. So here's a nice old flashlight. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. This is it, guys. This is it. The end of the end of the end. I've got one more coming. I hope you're ready. ready to launch I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, I'm stretching. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, here we go. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, soul of a fast. We're going, we're going, we're going, go, 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 go. Caution, approaching orbital debris field. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one.